Business owners, entrepreneurs, leaders in the community, members and potential members, check out what the Chamber Minority Business Council is doing in Charlottesville. In its second year of existence, under the Charlottesville Regional Chamber of Commerce, the CMBC is doing some profound things that benefit all of Charlottesville and surrounding counties. The CMBC's purpose is to grow and support minority businesses by facilitating the startup of new businesses and the successful running of existing businesses. Businesses. The Chamber Minority Business Council's goals in achieving its purpose are to substantially increase the creation of new businesses and improve their success rate, to serve existing businesses by enhancing their viability through increased exposure and visibility, and finally, to create an incubational environment where ideas, strategies, and talents are exchanged among members. One of the ways that the CNBC is reaching its goals is by hosting an annual Business Summit, where all businesses, entrepreneurs, leaders, managers, actually anyone can attend, learn, and network. This past September, CNBC held its second annual business summit at the historic Jefferson Heritage Center. There were over a hundred people from diverse backgrounds and representing a variety of businesses that attended this year's event. They came to hear some great speakers, pick up some information and techniques that would be discussed in the smaller breakout sessions throughout the day, and also to network. Those that attended were treated to two powerful speakers, Cynthia Murray, a CNBC member and owner of Cynthia Murray Enterprises, and the keynote speaker, Daphne Maxwell-Reed, owner of Fresh Prince and New Millennium Studios in Petersburg, Virginia. Both women are dynamic, accomplished professionals and have much to say to those that attended. Ms. Murray is a motivational speaker, coach, entrepreneur, leadership developer, and consultant. She was the morning speaker and got things energized with her enthusiasm, engaging manner, and her seven powerful principles of success. And interestingly enough, they all start with the word P, so hopefully that'll help you to remember it. The first one is produce. It's actually twofold, produce and perform. If you have a product, you're producing it. If you have a service, you're performing. But does your product or service stand out? We want to make maximum opportunities for success. We must stand out. And so someone could say, well, I stand out because I'm a minority. I'm not talking about who we are now. What I'm talking about is what you're bringing to the table. I'm talking about why someone wants to buy your product and why someone wants to buy your service. Practice saying I'm the best at and fill in the blank. You know, a lot of times it's hard for us to toot to our own horn. It's kind of, you know, we don't really want to do it and we want to be humble. And humility is wonderful. But in the business world, you've got to be able to step up to the plate and say, you know what? I'm the best at this. If you want this done well, you need to come to my company. If you want this product the best, you need to come to me. And back it up, not just with words, but back it up with your portfolio, with testimonies from other people. The second powerful principle that starts with a P is promote. We have got to promote our business. We've got to come out of our proverbial shells. We have to be able to tell people and we're going to... So be intentional and focused about how you want to promote. And by that word promote, in this sense, I mean grow your business. Number three is preparation. Preparation. Take time to focus on your plans for the future and be strategic. Number four, pricing. Make your price reflect the value of your goods or service. Now, understand there's a time for us to do some things for free. Sometimes we just have to pay because it comes back. I don't believe in karma, but I believe that what a person sows, they reap. And so when you put something out, into the community, it's gonna come back to you. And the thing about it is it comes back bigger than it was before. Number five P is principles. Stay true to your principles no matter what, especially in a shaky economy. No profit is worth our integrity. Number six, as I come to a close, is purpose. Why are you doing what you're doing? What do you want the end result of your business to be? 
Number seven is people. And probably, maybe the best one. I mean, they're all good, right, Brooke? <laughs> but people. We don't have a business if we don't have people. Employees help you. Customers buy from you. They contract your services for expert financial advice. Investors believe in you. They invest their money in you. They invest their time mentoring you. Partners and sponsors support you. They are your suppliers that you depend on when you've got to have that product there. They're vendors, they're contractors, they're subcontractors. Build and maintain those relationships. It's your greatest asset. She left many with not only business principles, but life lessons as well. Research and studies show that when we speak positive things to ourselves, then we begin to believe it. And once you begin to believe it, you begin to act on it. And once you begin to act on it, then all kinds of wonderful opportunities and doors and windows open for you and for me. SMART goals. Has anybody ever heard of SMART goals? SMART. So it's a mnemonic. It's an acronym. SMART. Specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. SMART. All of our goals should have those elements in them in order for us to have success. Not only did the CNBC bless the audience with these powerful speakers, they offered six breakout sessions to give attendees a chance to interact with facilitators and learn skills that will help them in business, whether entrepreneur, business leader, or employee. These sessions were facilitated by a variety of noted leaders in our community. These sessions were great ways for attendees to interact with one another and share concepts like this. Well, you can be groomed to be confident. One of my biggest plugs that have helped me to speak and become a better communicator and a better leader is Toastmasters International. Because it teaches you improv speaking and it teaches you how to structure a speech. It teaches you how to talk within a time limit. And that's one of the things that every business person needs to have because when you be able to structure a, your message to a point where it's concise and keep people engaged because you know how to talk to you and relate to your audience. You're talking about your sales increase, you talk about how you connect with other people and you just make you more of a confident person because the simple fact is the organization is so international and so diverse. Which is a necessary trait needed for any successful business. The keynote speaker for this year's event was Daphne Maxwell Reed, also known as Aunt Vivian from the hit comedy series Fresh Prince in Bel Air. She is an actress, owner of Fresh Prince, a photographer, and co-founder and partner in New Millennium Studios with her husband, actor, writer, producer, Tim Reed. She shared her life story with the audience of how she came from poverty and now is in wealth. She shared life lessons. I had parents, aunts, cousins, family, friends, and respected teachers. They taught me so many things that enhanced my blessings. They taught me how to think, how to reason, how to question, how to sew, cook, knit, crochet, build a bookcase, finish and refinish wood, read music, paint, draw, make toys and crafts, and it goes on and on and on. I learned at a very early age that there's a process by which to achieve all things, and anything of worth doesn't come easily. If it's hard, it will take some time. And if it's impossible, It'll just take a little more time. So I must say that my so-called poor childhood was very rich indeed. I was always seeking and not necessarily knowing what it is I was looking for. That question, what do you want to be when you grow up? I haven't answered that yet because I keep doing something else. The CNBC has shown itself to be a group that is impacting the business community and the community at large in Charlottesville and surrounding counties. Though the focus of the CNBC is minority businesses, businesses that are not minority owned have also benefited from this organization. What you will find is experience, experience that can benefit any business owner, entrepreneur, and leader.
There are ongoing meetings and events that members can take advantage of to help them in their own business. Whether it's an opportunity to network with other businesses or potential clients, learn ways to do business better, and how to be better themselves to see all the opportunities available to them. If you are interested in finding out more information about the Chamber Minority Business Council, you can check them out online or you can contact Andrea Copeland at 434-295-3141, extension 105. You can also come to one of the members only meetings and see for yourself the potential of the CNBC and how it can benefit you. What's interesting is that sometimes people hear the word minority and they all of a sudden come up with this concept that it's somehow less than or not as capable as. And what I want us to leave here today knowing is that is absolutely false. Nobody can start your business better than you. Okay.